A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 3, verses 22 to 30. Passage taken from the Message Version of the Bible. After this conversation, Jesus went on with his disciples into Judea countryside and relaxed with them there. He was also baptizing. At the same time, John was baptizing over an anon near Salem, where water was abundant. This was before John was thrown into jail. John's disciples got into an argument with the establishment's Jews over the nature of baptism. They came to John and said, Rabbi, you know the one who was with you on the other side of the Jordan? The one you authorized with your witness? Well, he is not competing with us. He's baptizing too, and everyone's going to him instead of us. John answered, It's not possible for a person to succeed. I'm talking about internal success. Without heaven's help, you yourselves were there when I made it public that I was not the Messiah, but simply the one sent ahead of him to get things ready. The one who gets the bride is, by definition, the bridegroom. And the bridegroom's friend, his best man, that's me. In place at his side, where he can hear every word is generally happy. How could he be jealous when he knows that the wedding is finished and the marriage is off to a good start? That's why my cup is running over. This is the assigned moment for him to move into the center while I slip off to the sidelines. The Gospel of the Lord Reflections on the Gospel according to St. John chapter 3 verses 22 to 30 Today's Gospel brings to us two key sentences from John the Baptist as guidelines for our participation in the life of the community, the Church. Our faith in Jesus implies that we are members of one family. We cannot ignore our brothers and sisters and still claim to be disciples of Christ. When the disciples of John the Baptist realized a potential threat from the baptizing mission of Jesus and his disciples, they ran up to the Baptist and complained. The response of John should be made our life principle. He must increase, I must decrease. This life motto must take root in our hearts, in our homes, parishes, communities, and in the society at large. It is our experience that we are willing to offer our services provided our efforts and services are acknowledged, applauded, and helps to enhance our self-importance. We claim to serve the Christ, but if we have our status compromised by criticisms or see someone less capable moved ahead of us in rank, our hearts crumble in disappointment and we withdraw from the scene. Moreover, we wait for opportunities to criticize people for their lack of commitment and poor quality of the job done. The story of John the Baptist invites us to look into our own lives to see if our aspirations and actions are to project our self-importance or we allow ourselves to be windows to the heart of Christ in the world centered on love, humility and service. If I decide to project my name and status ahead of Christ, I do not deserve to be called a Christian. John the Baptist says, He rejoices greatly at the voice of the bridegroom, 
the baptist had his focus fixed on the one who was coming as a best man in a wedding feast he eagerly waits the appearance of the bridegroom he prepares the stage for the groom as the bridegroom arrives on the stage the best man rejoices in the happiness of the groom and steps aside the center stage john recognizes the bridegroom the messiah and is more than happy to leave the stage for him many of the miseries that confront our families our communities and the church today result from our unwillingness to leave the stage for christ instead we place ourselves at the center as the protagonist of the mission thus we are busy preparing ways for ourselves instead of preparing the way of the lord lord help me grow in the virtue of humility and have the joy of placing myself at the service of others